Hey, what's going on, folks? Mr. Mom. Hey, wanted to talk about something real quick. I'm doing a couple things with these little tanks that I got back here in my bedroom. I've um, got a little three-gallon Pico action going right there. Some paintball CO2 working. We turn the lights back onto this, at least one of them. Um, on this tank, I got a, I got the 48 watt dual bulb T5HO dual switch there, so I can just turn on one bulb at a time. And that's what I did because it's nighttime. The light's really supposed to be out, but I've been playing with this tank a little bit, and uh, just wanted to give you guys a quick shot of that. Still got those massive Wendetti Crips in there. Didn't have the heart to take those out, so I just trimmed them back a little bit so they were back behind there, and not so obtrusive. SP Japan guys, I've got this in the store right now. I haven't put it up there yet, but by the time this video's up, it should be up in there. Um, there's a there's a couple different names for this stuff, guys, but uh, it is SP Japan is one name for it, is like a subspecies for it. It's a hydrocoidal. Um, but there's you know lots of different subspecies and stuff got the red rock kick and one thing I want to talk about in this video real quick though guys is lighting um, And it, it's it's a real broad topic. I'm not going to talk about everything that goes into lighting in this one video um, But I just wanted to show like a distinction between the LEDs and T5 HOs and talk about that real quick And I think right now in the industry um, Unless you're running smaller tanks like I am now, but let's say you're running bigger tanks 55s 75s your best bet guys is to go t5 hos still at this point price wise and everything um in my opinion now there there are a few companies out there that are making leds that are suitable for planet tanks and actually do a good job finex is one of them they got like the fudre things going on you guys can't really see the label that good there it is it is a few uh finex thing's awesome it's an awesome little light it does really good it's in the right spectrum um and they're not violently overpriced, you know, but I'm not sure how good they do on bigger tanks. I haven't personally tried one. Um, so anyone who's tried these Fenex fixtures, you know, like on 55s and 75s, let me know. I think actually Dolly VH is trying one right now, so I'll, maybe I should maybe I should talk with him. But uh, T5HO guys, for the price, you know, you're, it's it's easier to get your you know your three four watts a gallon or whatever like this tank. It, it's you know, right at three watts a gallon. It's you know, 48 watt fixture. Um, it's a 15 gallon tank. So you know, do the math. I'm right there. And you know, the general rule, if you want to grow most things, you know, if you're around three, four watts a gallon, you know, and that and that's an easy way to judge it on with T5HOs. Um, with LEDs, you're going by lumen and stuff. It's kind of really hard to judge, you know, watts per gallon on an LED fixture. Um, but you just want to make sure you're getting the high par, you know, the high output LEDs, and that you're getting a good, you know, the, the spectrum that you want, you know. Um, this is a little, I need to top this tank off, so I'm sorry about that. But just wanted to talk about lighting real quick, guys. And, um, you know, I, I've been getting a lot of, you know, like novices calling, a lot of noobs calling, you know, just asking about light and seeing what they can run with, like, T5, you know, T8 lighting and stuff. And let me just say this, guys, nothing. Nothing that's worth a crap anyway. You know, you can do like low light stuff, Anubius, Java Ferns, stuff like that. But if you really want to, you know, run decent plants and, you know, maybe get a little color, maybe some carpeting action going, um, you're going to want, you know, at least three, four watts a gallon. And that's just like the old school, you know, way of rating your wattage is watts per gallon. So anyone knows a good way to go with LEDs? I mean... I don't really know, but I just know that these, I've tried a lot of them, like those Marine Land ones, you get a PetSmart, garbage. Those things don't do anything. They're garbage. Pure garbage. Not to crap on Marine Land, they got plenty of good products, but those LEDs don't grow plants. That's not what they're for. So don't think that they are if you do. Um, you know, stick with the old school, T5HOs. Can't go too wrong with that, but the LEDs are good, guys. So tell me what you think, guys. Give me your opinion on that. Those are the tanks. There's me rambling about lights. Probably didn't really t talk too much about it, but that's it, guys. J Flesh Tanks, Mr. Mom Tanks, fired up aquatics, guys. Lots of plants in there, including this sweet, sweet hydrocoidal. <laughs> Later. Peace.